Hello and welcome to the y 2 podcast where I, Soraz, and one other guest discuss anything and everything y 2 This is episode 10 featuring Blizzy, Mez, and Kem. Two undeniable icons within the community, Blizzy and Kem have made their mark known in y 2 through their output of great quality videos, especially in the recent years. Blizzy, real name Danny, has made continual improvements and evolved his videos into something completely different than what the Y2PMV community was ever used to. Divisive to some, it has sparked many new creators to take his approach to VST Y2PMVs as opposed to Y2PMV in the traditional sense. Other guest, Kem, real name Billy, splashed onto the scene in 2016 by hosting the Man with the Machine Gun collab, which featured many notable creators at the time. Since then, Billy has made leaps and bounds with his video's quality and cohesiveness. Most notably, he recently made a full Dancing Mad White PMV, which is no easy feat for anybody. In this episode, we touch on the impact of COVID for motivation, their future in White PMV, and tell the tale of two drunken bastards in England. Big shout out to Danny and Billy for being on. Please go check them out on Twitter and subscribe to them on YouTube. In my honest opinion, they get more hate than they deserve, but the purpose of this podcast is not to sway your opinion one way or the other. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy. So, starting off, uh, how did each of you get into White's PMV, and uh, to follow up on that, how did you guys become friends? Uh, I'll start with you, Danny. Yeah, yeah. so um, I'd, like to say, oh, I'd like to think I've been making YTP uh, since like late 05, uh, early 06. I honestly, I must have been about six or seven at the time. But I remember just like, I don't know, I used to watch like proper daft stuff on like my dad's YouTube channel and stuff like that. Obviously, I wasn't old enough to have my own, and I would just like watch daft YouTube proofs and all that, and just like like CDI, the King says this and that. And um, I probably wanted to make my own, so I thought like like I had a look online because there's obviously no tutorials in like what 2006 or whatever. So I have a look online and um, it was like this really, it's it's like a joke or something. I think it's like a joke or like a really bad tutorial, but. I noticed they said they use like Windows Movie Maker. I thought like, oh, I'll have a look at my computer, see if I have that. So I did have that. And um, I just made like a two second, I can't remember what it was. It was a two second, like really bad, like cut or whatever. And I was so <laughs> proud of it. I showed my family. They're like, oh, it's cool. That. You, oh, yeah. You just put that on YouTube. I was like, okay. I'll try and, uh, I'll try and do that then. So I tried to upload the project file. Um, <laughs> the, the Windows Movie Maker project file on a YouTube and that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so it just stayed there for about six months until I managed to like render it out or, or like export it as like MP4 and I uploaded it. And it got like, it got loads of like one star ratings back when you had like the rating system. I was like, I was oh, so yeah. upset. I was oh, like, oh, I, know, yeah. I was so upset. I was like, oh, God damn. But then I kept making them. And then like, cause YTP guy 77 wasn't my like first channel that like, Obviously, I was using another channel before that. So, like, I made that after the channel I was using before got terminated for copyright. I think I just used to, I think I gave up and I just uploaded like South Park episodes on, uh, on my uh, channel and it got terminated. <laughs> so, I made YTP Guy 77 and the, um, I, I guess it was kind of like Swass Museum in a way, if you think. But, um, I kind of, what I wanted to, wanted to do was like just upload like YTP sources and like be like helpful for people. So, I uploaded the Hotel Mario intro. And it got like a thousand views. I was like, get in my first video with a thousand views. I just kept making like stupid videos. And YTPMV, I guess, is kind of like, it just came from that. Like, like Sparta remixes, like in 2011, obviously they're not like how they are now, but like, like, cause I tried, I tried for years to try and pirate Sony Vegas to make like a Sparta remix. And I finally got it to work and I felt like fucking God when I did it. Um, so I finally got it to work and I tried to make a Sparta remix, like following a couple of tutorials at the time. And it probably didn't work. And I was like, oh, God's sake. So I just practiced like pitch shifting or whatever. And I kind of got something down. And um, the first, I remember the first video I made was, I don't remember the song. It's that uh, Gentle Mentleman or whatever, that song for oh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I know sorry. which song you're is talking it about. No, it's... Uh, it's oh, <laughs> no, no. I'm thinking of it. It's like... Yeah, yeah, that one. I don't know the name of the song. But um, I, I used Michael Rosen for it. True, true Blizzy Mass Farm. I used Michael <laughs> Rosen for it, you know, um, and I called it Michael Rosen Raff, and it was the 14th of November 2011 uh, when that when that was uploaded on the YTP Guy 7-7. And I guess since then, I've never looked back. So 
that's how I got into it. Damn, that's <laughs> well. Going back to you trying to upload like the file, I did the exact same shit when I was like trying to do let's plays when I was like <laughs> nine or something or eight. Like I, I just kept dragging it there and I was like, it won't take it. I was like, what the fuck? I edited this video. <laughs> like, why isn't it working? Oh, man. but uh, yeah. How about you, Billy? Um, starting out, God, because I before I actually started making videos, I was like, I was following the community back in 2013. Um, like, I think it was, uh, one of Epic Rob's collabs that came out that I remember, like, one of the first things I remember, I think it was the Funky Town collab, I think? Yeah. Uh, I think that sounds that right. came into account in 2013, so that was one of the first ones that I watched, and then it got to, oh god, because at the time I was, um, I was a speedrunner, uh, for Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, hell so yeah. I didn't really, um... You know, it was fun to watch these things, but I didn't really have that much interest. But then I started watching more like YT. Well, I was watching YTP beforehand, um, and the typical Rose and YTPs, and I always used to watch them. And I, I'm guessing, I think it was because Robin used to make old YTPs, and she did YTP and Vs as well in them. And I was like, oh, these are interesting because me and my, me and my RL friends used to watch um, a lot of. I don't even know why we watched Rose and YTPs. We just thought they were funny at the time. So now I look back <laughs> on it, I just think, Jesus Christ, what were we doing? <laughs> and, um, like, I got, I think it was in March 2014, because um, I had Vegas anyway, and I knew a little bit about it. And I made a, it was my first public video. It was um, my, <laughs> my friend Dan. Oh, it's such a bad video. You you know what video <laughs> I'm talking about, don't you? It's Oh no. Oh. It was... <laughs> yeah, it was um <laughs> my my friend Dan, so he's from Newcastle and his way of speaking is like so much different. So instead of him saying no, he says me. But for some reason <laughs> I thought I'd sample that. <laughs> and oh, and yeah. I also used Rosen in it as well. And the song was <laughs> it was fourteen frames per second. It was, yeah, it was in it was in fourteen frames per second, like How? 40, fourteen FPS. Because because it, <laughs> it was originally a, um, recorded on my old laptop, and for some reason that was the frame rate uh -oh. of the camera. <laughs> but it, because I had it so it automatically sets it so it's fourteen frames in Vegas. I also <laughs> it also put the Michael Rosen footage in fourteen frames. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, I, think the, I think the song was um, it was well, I can't remember the name. Um, it burns, burn, that burn. was it. <laughs> it burns, burns, burns. Lo is it loco loco? Yeah. The group. It was that because um, I'd seen a load of my people using that song at the time, and I thought oh, I can only make one of these, and it was so bad. I'll have to send it because I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it like is it still up, but just like unlisted? Um, not on the original channel because I've jumped from a few channels. Since. Oh yeah. But I've I've got the file. It's oh, I I've, I've sent it to a couple of people before, and they're like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> they always mention the frame rate. <laughs> oh, that's uh, fucking funny. I I mean, everybody's first white TV is bad though. Oh god, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's just like I mean, it's just like people making music. Like their first song's gonna be dog shit. No yeah, what. yeah. But uh, it, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say it's just weird looking back at that like six years ago and then comparing it to stuff I've made now. It's like, huh? Yeah. So weird. yeah, it's it's crazy the rate of improvement like with YTPMV. Honestly, like, uh, once it once it finally like all clicks, like you just start like experimenting and experimenting, and then yeah, I don't know. It's I, I, it's it's kind of like because um I was gonna say there like the rate of improvement. So like when I first started out, it took me about like five or so years to get like a decent like to to get to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm happy with this. I'm 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 all right with this. Like I can do. I, I can have a bit I, like an idea in my head, and I can get it down. And I can make it, and I'll be all right. But like with new ITP and beers now, especially like I don't know to name a few like Supreme or Waffle or you know like oh, yeah. just. It's taken them like half a year to a year. And, uh, it's silver cringing, silver cringing. Oh my god! Silver cringing is such a good video. But like, it, it sort of brings me to the point. It's like I don't know if it's just. It's obviously an effect of like YTPMV being more commonplace now. So like, 
there are like white and two Tauros as opposed to that fucking terrible one by <laughs> Sergeant Scrub Noob that we all had to go off if we wanted to have yeah, some sort of semblance. I'm not gonna lie, that one <laughs> that one taught me about um like different keyframe movements. I was like, oh this is a thing. Companion crop in the fucking Thomas Stan engine man. <laughs> Yeah. That 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 video alone, how many views does it have now? I'm curious. Uh, it must be in the hundred thousand. <laughs> oh yeah. Like uh I, I made that one like I don't know, just random Vegas tips and tricks shit. Yeah, and, that was that was pretty good. The intermediate and, one. Oh, it's it's got seventy seven thousand, so quite a few. But yeah, it's it's like already like getting close to like twelve hundred just from like I don't even know, just random shit. But there there aren't very many tutorials. There definitely should be more. I wish more people would, would make them. I saw that uh like M Maker recently made um like a bunch of after effects of t- tutorials, like oh, a whole yeah, series. Yeah. And that shit seems super useful. That's that's good because like I've never known what I was doing with After Effects really. Great of like yeah. a series of tutorials. It just feels so complex. I, I couldn't even be asked to like learn it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And it's just like with what you can achieve in Vegas, like once you like figure it out, it's like After Effects. After Effects is good, like when you want to like really, really, really aim high. Yeah, but like for. Honestly, for like white PMV, like Vegas is like will suffice. So it's just fine. So speaking of that, like what kind of what kind of tools do you guys use? Oh well, actually, going back, uh, how did you guys become friends then? Oh God, uh, <laughs> do you want to <laughs> do you want to do this one, Danny, or do you want me to do it? Um, I'll start and then you can finish, Cuss. Um, so ah, oh, it w- it was 2014, wasn't it, Billy? It was like yeah, really yeah, it's 2014. Yeah, so it was late 2014. This is kind of the end of the new Spice and sort of era, I guess, if you will. Um, yeah. And there's this, there's this, there's this new guy. His name's Unearned Root 25. He's been commenting <laughs> on some of my videos. I'm thinking, no, oh, he, he seems cool. I look at his channel. He's making like rows and videos. He's got like he's got a couple white PMVs that have like British shows in them. I'm thinking, God, does he know about them? He must be like British or something like like proper like northern british sort of like jokes i'm like oh that sounds that's that's pretty cool oh and he makes God. it he makes a video um and it's called i don't know if it's still off but it's called yorkshire man um, oh yorkshire man <laughs> in the background <laughs> the background in that video um i won't name the place but um it, it, it's like it's like a place in like the north of england or whatever where i went when i was a kid and i was so surprised like it, it just felt really like i don't know it just felt weird like this proper niche place that i come from and like someone else is it so like we just i think we started talking like beginning of 2015 just after the whole hacking thing or whatever i think we started talking on skype about like february or something 20, like that it was 2014 before like the the infamous i could get i guess hack <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, but, um, I remember I, I asked you for your Skype on one of your older videos on the channel, and because um, I at the time I didn't know how people were like covering songs so well. I was like, oh my god, he's got the chords and everything; they sound great. How are people yeah. doing this? I'm just hearing these chip tune songs, <laughs> and I because <laughs> I didn't know about Open MPT or anything. I'm like, how do you how do you get all this? And you were like, oh, just use Open MPT, and I'm like, what? And yeah, yeah, I got remember that. Oh my god, that that was our first conversation. Well, actually, I, I remember the first thing you said to me on Skype because it was about my profile picture. Wait, what? It was, it was a picture of Michael Rosen photoshopped onto like a meme or something and you. I think you just said, good God, your profile picture. <laughs> oh my Christ, what a way to kick off a friendship. God, look at your profile picture. It, it was the first <laughs> thing you sent and I, I think I just said, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, oh my. And, no, yeah. I think we just kept talking since then though, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, because like I never, because I didn't speak to you much. I spoke to like Jake and everyone else because I was heavily involved in the YTP scene. So I yeah. spoke to them a lot for a while, and then then I started to talk to you and a load of other people. But yeah, that was <laughs> the start of how we, like we first messaged each other, and then it's like 2015 when we just started properly, I guess, full on like conversation every day type thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, that's cool that it, that it kind of just all came from like repeatedly commenting and everything. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's like I really thought nice about show. it like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that that's how like um I like that kind of reminds me of like Siva Gunner, where like a bunch of people have become like members and friends with people in Siva Gunner just because they started commenting on like every single video. 
and yeah. it's just kind of cool that that's like another way to like i guess network i think it's pretty nice though really. yeah yeah so i would say both of your guys' videos have been uh pretty consistent in quality uh through the years like you guys have definitely like steadily improved and everything uh Thanks, man. what would you say is like the main factor in like maintaining that quality and improving uh i'll start with oh, you billy oh god i don't even know where to start with main like main factor of improving <laughs> i think it's so i'm gonna go off on like a little tangent i suppose um so you know how like you can get people who just upload and upload and upload and upload and you can see like improvement like during the videos mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think it's just it just comes over time i think with improving because for me anyway i still think i'm improving like because audio i've all like i guess i've kind of struggled with audio now and then but it's one thing ever since i've started that i've wanted to improve mm -hmm. um yeah and i think it just comes with like just trial and error trying out new things um so i use quite a few different plugins and effects for my videos so doing like using all of them testing them out see what works see what doesn't work um it really does like help along the way for making stuff and to and to build your own style too so for me it's you just test you, know, you test everything you can you see what works um if something does you just um i guess you just, just go with it really but, like it's just it's a we it's really weird because I, I don't know i think i guess i'll never really usually ask these questions like how do you improve yeah um, it's, it's something i don't really think about i kind of just do it yeah yeah i i can i can relate to that for sure for like me personally like it you you don't really ever like unless you're like actively like trying to improve like oh try out something else like with visuals or whatever like oh kezu does this cool visuals let's all let, let's see how i can do kezu like visuals or something like that like that's yeah, like yeah. a sense of improvement yeah. but yeah i i agree like it just kind of comes over time in uh, um in my like, re recent video on my main, um, Dancing Lad, a lot of visual oh. ideas. <laughs> what? Why are you going to No, I'm just, no, it's just a good video. <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah, I watched it last night. Um, like, inspiration, I guess you could call it, comes from watching Kersey's stuff and how he does it. Because he, I'm pretty sure he just uses, like, pan crop and masks. And, well, that's how I did it anyway. I don't know if he's got a different method. But, like watching his videos over time because he was a big inspiration to me when I first started out, like for visuals and audio as well. Uh, like I've got a big list of people who who've inspired me to make videos, but he's definitely one of the key ones, and I I think it shows in my videos that um he's had like a relatively big impact on what I do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that 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 dancing mad video was insane. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, that like, oh fuck, I couldn't even imagine doing a dancing mad vid. You're you're crazy for finishing that. It started out as a joke. It started out as a joke between me and Tanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was so pushed. I'm gonna come up with a title. That's I think that's probably like one of the main reasons why you finished it as always because we had such yeah, a good title. We, had a title. we were like, we were, thinking for, <laughs> we were thinking for like 15, 20 minutes on. There's got to be, like, a title for this, because I've started it, and I'm like, no, nah, I don't really want to finish this. <laughs> it's going to be annoying mm. with all the BPM changes. Oh, that's one thing. For people who don't use BPM, I have a go at using BPM, because it saved my life. Yeah, Joe, come on. Oh, yeah. Start that <laughs> You're going for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I should probably start using that. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, and you, Ross. <laughs> no, it, it, it's helpful. Uh, it is a handy tool. Uh, like, it's something, like, dancing mad is horrible trying to sync things up to the BPM. I had to, I, like, I asked Carl, uh, Impossible Carl for some help, and he, he really, like, wanted me to finish his vid. And he was like, oh, he, he sent, like, a huge paragraph of time signatures, BPM stuff, and I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just uh, trying to process it all. <laughs> and, yeah, luckily <laughs> it, it all came through. That's pretty cool. Yeah, for for you, Danny, like, uh, what would you say is, like, your main factor in, like, maintaining and improving quality? So, this might be a bit of a long answer, but um, I do owe a lot of what I know about white movie now, especially audio-wise. I owe a lot of that to uh, Robin. Um, we used to talk quite a lot back in the day, but she showed me, like, a load of VSTs, a load of effects. Because um, the way she used to make audio was crazy. Like, she sent me all these videos and these previews of videos she was working on. I was like, oh, how do you get your samples to sound like that? Like, how 
it's, it's immense. And she showed me, um, she was the one that showed me Fab Photo, um, which is like, it's kind of like, it's almost this industry grade, like EQ in slash compressor slash like, well, it's like a library, I guess, of, of just, and like, she showed me that in like 2016. Cause, cause I'd like to think like, um, like there's, like, I guess 2015 to 2016, I guess I was kind of improving. I, I couldn't really tell you how though. Like I didn't see it as a, like, I didn't see it as I went to set out and be like, right, I'm going to get better at this. So, like, I think it's just a, again, just a thing like a practice makes perfect. Like I've been doing it, I guess, for so long that like I kind of, I get more comfortable doing each video or something like that. But I do, uh, like, like I say, like with the audio effects, um, she showed me Fab Photo in 2016. And I remember it was really confusing to get used to because like I'd never seen it. Like the most I'd go for, you know, it was like track EQ in Vegas, you know, the stock. I, would, I, I didn't even know what a VST was until like, until I, I like I downloaded that, but I started using it and like I started gradually sort of figuring out what everything meant and how it could like like affect your audio and everything like that. I started using it like more and more, and I think that's what like I think that's probably what helped me improve really, like just the gradual use of that. Also, you watch out as well, fucking <laughs> amazing VST. But um, I don't know really. Like it's a bit of a tough one. Really, I, I couldn't tell you how I like right like. Yeah, so it was basically just like the audio effects Robin showed me and stuff like that. I think this year, though, in terms of videos like that, like stand out, like because I haven't really been like over the past year, I haven't made any like main, like proper main worthy videos or like visuals, I guess. Uh-huh. But like when I made that booth video with Billy, that was immense. So that that I'm, was I'll, so mad. When you were I might go. Off, might go off on a little bit of a tangent, but uh, I would like to tell it because um, it's just a mental story. I think I woke up one day, like it, this was about a couple of weeks ago, and I was absolutely bored. And I was like, I want to sit down and I want to make a proper video like I used to, and I want to be able to like do that again. So I sat down and I made the audio for that on a call with Billy, like over the span of a day. And Billy, God fucking bless him, he oh was like, God. I was like, oh, Billy, have you got a sample for this? Yeah, yeah, there you go. I oh, believe you got a sample for this orchestral hit. And like he, he was, so he was many specific samples. He, like, he <laughs> was, <laughs> like he must have been searching through fucking backlogs of like streams, and he just pulled one. He's like, "There you go." And I was like, "I was in, I was there in Open MPT trying to, or like Melodyne <laughs> trying to like remove the background noise. Did you shift the root notes or like proper like trying to make it work at like Einstein in it? And like <laughs> it got to, like nine p.m. and I'd been working on that since like eleven a.m. and it got to nine p.m. and I just went, "There you go." And we, we went through the audio together. He, he, he gave me a lot of help on the audio. I'd say, like, what, what worked and what didn't really. Uh, especially samples. with that orchestral hit. Yeah, it, and the samples, God almighty. Like, if, he, if he wasn't helping me out with the samples there. But, um, like, that was just such a crazy day. And, like, so I, I guess... Oh, oh, sorry. Go on. No, I was going to say something about... No, go on. I, don't wanna, I, don't, I was going to say, just while you were making like you were mid making it and i was also mid making samples for you <laughs> like i know and you were doing that as well as doing dancing lad oh, yeah. but like oh, yeah. i oh, guess that kind of ties into game, the uh, out, yeah. <laughs> initial question damn uh, like having the dedication to go from 11 to 9 like full full time <laughs> job mode of just like making a video i have not felt that in a long fucking time so <laughs> Kudos to you guys. It's for- such, <laughs> it's such a rare feeling, but you know when you've got it because like you could be making a video and then like a certain thing doesn't go your way and then yeah, oh, I'm just gonna close Vegas and do whatever. But like you know that feeling where like you just you're like, all right, I'll try this, then oh, I'll try this, and you just don't want to give up. And it's I love that feeling because I rarely feel that. Like that was the first time I felt that in fucking years. It was beautiful. I wasn't but, um, even awake when um you first started making it like yeah i woke up to a message from me like really do you want to call and i'm like yeah sure like, oh, look at what i've been making and you've like done all the lead and, <laughs> the yeah. and everything i'm like oh no you didn't finish the bass you did most of it and i'm like how are you doing this you did all like the lead slides manually oh I, I, I couldn't i'm tell sat there with my jaw swinging. wide open <laughs> swinging <laughs> might as well have been I, don't know. <laughs> I was like oh my god you're like, yeah, I've just done this in the past hour or so. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was pretty mental. But I guess, like, because I, I would have... It, it, I can kind of tie it in with the improvement question you asked, because like, I wouldn't have really wanted to make that video, I guess, unless Billy made... Like, unless Billy did make a booth video. So, I, we, I don't know, I kind of got inspired from Billy in a way, and I suppose, like, Aww. like the inspiration from others kind of, uh, I guess, helps me want to improve, especially visual-wise, visual what with, like, Supreme's visuals and stuff like that, like, 
to go back to Silver Cringe and the visuals and that are just immense. And it's just like, I don't know, it, it's the inspiration of others that I guess like helps make you want to improve or kind of refine sort of what you're doing, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But um, no, yeah, I, was I, a- I, I totally get you. Like, uh, speaking of the, I didn't know which video you're talking about at first with the Silver Cringing, but the the like moment i looked it up and saw the thumbnail i was like oh yeah that fucking god yeah. damn that video was, <laughs> yeah that video was Absolutely. so going off of like inspiration since we're on that topic who would both of you say is like some of your biggest inspirations start with you danny um i know i know this is gonna come as like a shock horror sort of thing but like Earlier, like earlier on in sort of YTP and be like maybe it's like 2015 or 2017, it was Kezu. Um, I think that's kind of really present in my videos from that like era. But like it, what I don't know, like it just I love the attention to detail in the things, like in the places where you wouldn't even like think to look. Like I don't know, like you just like shift like a little like a frame or something like that on one sample, and you wouldn't even notice unless you were like really staring at it. But it's just the attention to detail. And just I don't know, like the song choices as well. Like I don't yeah. I don't listen to like classical music, but I think just the fact that someone thought to like use like like a movement or a piece from like a classical I don't know, I just thought that was great. Um I think later on it was like I like, I start I started like uh, I knew about JM Nerd from like twenty fifteen, but I didn't like a lot of his earlier videos. But JM Nerd started getting really good towards like I think it was twenty sixteen. Mm-hmm. Um and I think yeah, my inspiration kind of became like from Jam Nerd, I'd say from about twenty seven, late twenty seventeen to about twenty nineteen. Um, his one eight three compilations that he used to release at the end of the year just had amazing videos in it. Like they were just, I don't know, just like, and I'd say Robin as well. I think Robin would have been a, 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 again to tie it back with like the fact that she showed me Fab Filter and all these crazy effects. I'd say she was quite inspirational as well, especially visually as well. Like. A Brooklyn Nine Nine Robocop YTP and was like the first one that she did with like proper compositing, like proper like visual segments and stuff like that, I believe anyway. But um mm-hmm. I saw that and it was really inspirational. I wanted to try and get better at visuals as a uh, result from that video. But I'd say I don't know, I'd, I'd say overall, um probably Robin Kezu, GM Nerd. I think I would have been about it about about it really. That's a yeah i mean that's a solid list all those people are fucking great honestly like i i i'm sure you'd find a lot of people who are inspired by those three. Oh, I. yeah uh how about you billy um i guess my list isn't so different to danny's but like starting out it would have been I, I robin as well definitely for me um she makes some insane stuff uh, visually, uh, her audio is absolutely insane, um, and of course, like back in well, I say I say back in the day, like I don't really speak too much anymore, but you know, I speak to every now and then. Um, like I was listening, uh, like we always talked, and you know, gave, she always helps me out with stuff. So she always like sometimes she pushed me to finish stuff that sounded good, or like gave me advice on how to improve, which it was just really great to hear. Um, Another person uh, is Noble. Uh, another oh, yeah. Here. Oh, now, yeah. I'll just... I think... It, oh, I can't think of the title of the video. The, um... The Nishiju one. The the Earthbound one? No, not the Earthbound one. This was, like, back before the video was... Like, before the channel was... like before Oh, it was, was it the Forest Interlude one? The Forest Interlude one, that was... Yeah, oh, that was good. Loved that video, and the rest, like, just the rest on the channel, I was like, oh my god, it's great videos. Like, visually, it's, it was the sort of stuff I liked. Like, it was simple, but it was... It, like, there was stuff going on that just kept your attention, and that's what I liked about videos. Like, it didn't have to have be... It didn't have to be so overdone, um, you know, to be interesting. It was simple, it was clean, it was good stuff, and I really enjoyed watching it. Like watching the videos. Uh, another person um, is Impossible Carl. I used to watch his stuff, like his older stuff, and I remember when. Oh God, is it, I think he hosted the collab. Um, no, it was no, he was part of it. It was a space cube. Uh, yeah, the Can't space cube collab. Yeah, uh, that was uh, on, on Omni channel, but yeah, Omni. Um, it was 
Carl's video that I saw before the collab. I think it was his old part, maybe, I saw. And then I started watching his other stuff. And I always used to think that he did his audio, not audio, uh, visuals in After Effects. Um, I think it was it was a white PMV called Damage Pan... Uh, I think it was Panzer Reflection or something, or Deflection. But it was that video, I was like, God, these are like After Effects type visuals. And I asked him recently, and he was like, no, it was done in Vegas. I'm like, what? Did this in Vegas? <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Yeah, finding finding out that, like, when you're convinced that somebody's just, like, using After Effects, and then you find out that they use Vegas, it's just like, damn, I will never, yeah. like, for, at <laughs> least for me, I'm just like, damn, I'll never be as good as you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Some of the stuff that people do in Vegas is insane. Yeah, like, yeah. Insane. Um, other inspirations. Uh, I guess similar, the, oh, I'm missing the main one, Danny, you. Because um, I... <laughs> Oh, a nice feel little heartwarming though. moment. You feel bad. <laughs> I didn't say you. Okay, well, and you Billy. Say yeah, and Billy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, because I always used to watch all of your older stuff, and I, like, it was, it was. I'd never thought you'd be the talking type. Like, I didn't think you'd want to talk to me. I didn't think you'd be interested. So I'm honestly surprised. That, uh, I'm still not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No. You just talk with me. Ah, of course I do. <laughs> but yeah, um, you as well, Danny, because you taught me a lot of useful stuff. Do you? Oh, yeah. no. I I was just gonna ask, like, uh, so from like my my I I don't know how to like say this uh, other than like I'm gonna flood my way through this. So like the traditional watch and viewers, quote unquote, a lot of them are like inspired by like uh, Phazon still and inclu myself included. And, yeah. uh, like, I would say, like, Epic Rob is still, like, one of them, and Zarlable, like, those are, like, my three. Do you, do you think it's, like, just a change of taste, or, like, a change of what you see in YTPMV, that, like, more and more people look towards other, like, other creators? Or do you think that's just, like, I, I, I guess what I'm saying is, like, do you think that there's just been, like, a change in taste away from, like traditional quote-unquote for lack of a better term white spmv recently um i think it's like I, I think it's a progression really like obviously there's so many more new faces these days mm -hmm. but it's like like people will be watching like the latest white spmvs and stuff like that and like maybe it's not paying too much attention to the old ones whereas when they were off the time obviously people would cite them as inspiration as well i think it's just a change of face really i, I think it's just an effect of like Obviously, more new people coming into the community, um, but I, I mean, I don't know. What do you think, Billy? Like, um, I don't know. I don't, it's I really don't know because it's such a weird. Cause it's changed, like as you said, Danny. It's changed over time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like every, every like the meta is changing. Um, from like it's gone from say a one track thing in Vegas to now. 50 tracks in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> just, oh, God, just yeah. pure audio. And, like, it's not necessarily necessarily a bad thing that that's happening. It's just, like, there's not much of the original stuff going around anymore. Like, yeah. I, I would don't mind making simple, lazy stuff on, like, in Vegas. Like, it is fun to do, but I'd, I've always been, like, I've always wanted to up myself quality-wise, which is why, I, I guess, you see, I don't know, some... I guess it's why you see shit like dancing, the dancing lad, because dancing I, lad. because I just want to go for that sort of quality in most of my videos. Like it's, it's I, weird. Yeah, I think it's I think it's interesting me because like like I don't know how else to describe this, but it's like the kind of passing on the torch in the way, really. Like like the mm. old, from the old to the new. Like it's like a continuation of white and A lot of people like to say white and is dead. Or like there's a certain period of white and where it was dead. Now I don't think it ever was me. I think it's just as alive now as it's ever been. Really, because like there's so much more new people. Again, the new people that are coming in are like learning it much more faster than we did when we were growing <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. You know, like and, and just and just picking it up and just running with it. And if that's like if that's dead, then I don't know what's bloody alive. You know what I mean? But like. I don't know. I, I, it's nice. I, I like it, mate. It's, it's just. I think this is gonna go. This is definitely gonna go on for another ten years. I, I have no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah. I would agree with that. I, I would say, yeah. It's just, it's just a change of 
taste like overall with just like new people and i'm sure i'm sure a lot of it also has to do with like who you saw first right yeah yeah because like for me like some of my first videos that i saw uh like because i i'd been watching ytps for a long time but i got into it and then i saw like some a lot of pony vids and everything back in like 2011 and uh yeah it's just like from that i guess it was just that's what ytpmv should be you know like your yeah. first impression so i don't know i recently in the last or not in the last episode but the episode with uh tone deaf marlin uh i kind of equated it to like uh different interpretations of the bible <laughs> essentially <laughs> like it's just like it's just like these are what like people think ytpmv should be and yeah. this is what this is what they prefer so th this is what they're gonna make so there's no point in like bitching and moaning and whining about it because nothing yeah. going to change or anything yeah there is really I mean, no right and wrong way of making videos yeah, yeah. I, I like to think like i agree like it's just like you can have your opinions like you can prefer one style of video i mean or, or another one but i don't think it should be a definitive like it should be this and if you're making it this way it's wrong i don't i've never ever agreed with that um mm -hmm. i don't know it just seems stupid a pigeonhole because it's like again it's just like like why would you want to pigeonhole that because like there'd be a lot of waste of talent there's like a lot of people like especially these days making great videos so if you want to pigeonhole that you know and just say you should be doing this or whatever obviously it's like up to them not to listen or whatever but i've just never really agreed with that really i just i just think to each their own and really just make what you want to make it shouldn't be this or that you know what i mean yeah yeah and just like surround yourself in like the content that you want to see anyway yeah, yeah exactly and i don't know i think i think it's just like what once you come to ter like i think a lot more people just need to like come to terms with it where it's just like you know keep making your own stuff people are gonna develop their own style you know yeah the nothing's gonna change no nah, yeah nah, i agree with you no so uh going off of that would you say that like around like 2017 was when it really kind of like split almost like it, it, in white pmv like uh Ooh. like with with like your guys' style and like uh just like the traditional generic jokey ones uh yeah yeah i don't even really know when it's i like i cannot pinpoint a time when there was a like a form split between styles like when it started to split off into two separate things it was because i've always seen like because pels does um he makes some great videos um with like really well very few audio effects and ray does as well both of them too they make i, I can't word it um <laughs> they just <laughs> they do really good stuff um without because they don't uh, do much to their samples, as far as I know. So, mm. I guess they're more, they're leaning more towards, like, original I, I guess original YTPMV and then I, like, they're also leaning like, they're, in, they're on the fence, but like media yeah, I can't speak, <laughs> video making <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, no, I get what you mean Yeah, yeah, so they're like in, in the middle of serious video and not so serious video Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I, I've never like fully seen or um, fully known when the split was. It because I don't know because in the but like ages ago, um, people were. This is like a little. I guess I'm going on a little tangent here, but with um sample making and stuff, people would consider chip looping and stuff. You know, oh, that's a fake sample, and God, I don't know what when. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, but nowadays people consider, you know, a big Melodyne stretch to a fake sample. Uh, <laughs> it's just, what are you laughing at, Donny? <laughs> you just hear you giggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it is, it, it is kind of, like, weird to see how, like, I don't know, because that's just, like, the easiest term for people to say oh you know those are just those are just all fake sample ytpmvs you know the, the back in the day we used to just use the pitch shift in vegas and everything it's just like well you know it's 
but i i do think it's been like a sort of gradual change uh yeah, yeah. would you agree with that like with you danny that you've been kind of like a trendsetter in that regard like that you've inspired others to like take on this kind of style trendsetter my ass man <laughs> trendsetter well, fuck you. i mean danny the trendsetter <laughs> i don't know i'd like like i can because i don't want to like i don't want to say anything to like be modest sorry man i don't know the right word to use um like i definitely th- <laughs> would i get it with my spare time billy or something else? <laughs> um <laughs> like with the spandau ballet you know now i've come back again like like i use that as like well, i didn't use it as a joke i used it because i like the song and i was like oh there's a little sentence in this for me and i started using it and a lot of people like started using it as well so like as i would say in, in terms of that but i don't i don't think in terms of like the way videos are made that i've been mm. a bit of a trendsetter in, in terms of that um, yeah, it, it's kind of weird. I, I like the thing. Like I coined, I definitely coined Tears of Fears as a sauce, which which I'm, oh, yeah. I'm proud of. And like, but like maybe his eighties music and eighties music videos as a sauce as well. Um, as a result of that, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't think I like I I had any sort of like massive effect on the way newcomers make videos and stuff. Like I don't think I have that big of an effect, but maybe sauce choices and maybe song choices and and, and the likes. Um, I might have had an effect on. Yeah yeah i would i would i mean like i i can't speak for like other people but i for just from like an outside perspective it does seem that like you guys you two and like supreme uh definitely do have like a an effect on like other creators i would say but i i I, I, yeah i mean just just like i don't know it just seems seems that way to me just as like a casual because like i don't i don't keep up with like every single new white supreme video like it's just super difficult to like try to keep up with everybody but yeah. like f- from like random videos that i see whenever it gets like posted like i do like it, it has been like a gradual effect i would say so i think i think you're allowed you're allowed a little a little bit of like hmm, okay yeah you know i do have a bit of an influence you know like yeah. it, it, it definitely is a weird feeling because uh like I've also had that effect on like a co- a, like a handful of people and yeah. it's it's super it's super weird to think like that my shit like because I still think that I'm shit like to this day and everything it's just like I don't know it's it's a really weird feeling that you don't really get like anywhere else it's weird because you think you're making these like these videos for yourself and you think ah oh, like people are watching but they won't like take any notice of like what I've done or what I've used. And then people start taking notice, and then they start using like the sources and stuff. And it's like, I know, not to class that like a little line from a song that I've used in the video is like now being used by other people. And all it's just, it is a cool feeling. It is like, but I, again, I don't want to be like too modest or whatever. Oh, you're modest. <laughs> I've never, but you know. <laughs> so in recent in in the recent couple of months, uh, with with coronavirus and everything, and staying indoors, mm. would you say that's helped or hurt your motivation? It's killed me liver, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking, let's have a count of how much I've grown. Oh <laughs> my god, here we go. There's 18 bottles. Oh. 18? That's <laughs> two more than... Oh my god. 18 uh, beers. Um, I went through half a bottle of vodka last night. Um, Fucking hell. Uh, uh, that's, but, that's beast mode. I've got, no, I've got nothing to do. <laughs> Like, but... Alex Anonymous podcast. Okay, no. <laughs> Great. Intervention time. This, this is what it is. It's come to me just admitting that I, I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. no, I don't think all seriousness though. Like, I have made a lot more things like, um, while being, because I don't think like, it's so, so weird being locked in and like I've spent a lot more time at my computer. Like I, I started the, uh, I hate I keep bringing it up but the dancing match video. I started that um, at like the beginning of lockdown. I think I've been off because like, I'm not working at the moment because of it. Um, but I think I started it on the. It's the twenty seventh. I started, so I'd only been off work for like five days, and I was like already making a big video. Mm. So it's it's given me a lot more time to just 
mess around in Vegas, and it's I, I don't know if I, it's a I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse because it's just it's it's taking too much of my time. It's already taken six years. <laughs> now it's taking every yeah. hour of the day. Yeah, uh, I I get what you mean. It's it's been it's been super it's been super weird. Just like getting up and just going on your computer. Well, at least for me, it was just like school. And it's and then like while I'm like doing school things, I'm like, hmm, I got a video idea. And then like in the middle of a Zoom lecture, I'll just like make <laughs> a video idea real quick. And it's 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 so weird. Uh, but yeah, how about for you, Danny? Well, definitely for me because I got in your booth for oh, you know, the booth video I made. I think that's it's had a positive in, impact in terms of that. But like, I just man, I just hate being stuck in bars, me like. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, before all this, I was just like, I think I, I was rarely at my computer and I was just getting on the piss every night and just generally up to no good and that. But, like, now that we're, like, like, like forced to be indoors and that, like, I think to what, like, at the beginning, I was like, all right, well, I'll, you know, I'll probably get a lot more videos done. I did. I, I got a new boofer out and I think I got, like, I made a couple main videos, definitely. But, like, I think it's got to a point now where it's just, like, Oh god, how long's it been? Three, three months, nearly. Oh my god, I was just <laughs> yeah, sitting inside yeah. and just doing like the same thing every day, like waking up, sitting at my desk, going to bed, and it's mm-hmm. just like I don't know. Like I'm kind of bored of it now. Like I've got the last thing I made in Vegas is a Michael Rosen sentence mixing thing. I was that bored. <laughs> I decided to try and have a go at that again for the first time in like seven years but um <laughs> no it's just i think it's just got to a point now it was positive in the beginning but it's definitely got to a point now where i'm absolutely just sort of like bored of it really and anything anything i do happen to make i make like really quick because i'm just like i don't know we were planning to meet up weren't we again just before oh my god like, yeah all of this happened um yeah me and billy met up in like november like he come stayed around mine a couple of days oh, no, you I won't go. <laughs> okay just tell the story because oh, was, that, was that when you guys had that live stream that night yeah yes. oh I'd, I'd love to go really <laughs> in depth for this. Sure. go for even it the i don't care live stream even the live stream was funny <laughs> 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 looking, looking a cigarette out of the- Oh, yeah, the I was, hit the car. <laughs> he bounced off someone's car. So so Billy came to stay at my house for a couple of, um couple of days back in November. <laughs> um and what we did, we chilled the first night, like I think I had some weed and that we just he didn't because he's funny. And um we just chilled Hello. for a bit. <laughs> I'm looking at have a full joint Because he's a funny. We you are, and um, we <laughs> we were just like smoking like two years. Don't we know how yeah. to get back on it? <laughs> and um yeah so we just chilled the first night and we went like i still got some scran and that and um we just we were literally sitting there watching ytpmvs it, but it's weird you know like oh, how watched. ytpmv isn't a thing you can like talk to like your iro mates about because like it was oh weird we were just sat there just <laughs> we were just watching gm nerds 183 and we were just like we just didn't talk for 20 minutes while we watched it and we were just like that was classed out when it made like so we have another one on you know what i mean <laughs> it was just fucking <laughs> Uh, we um, another one on. <laughs> it was, we me. watched the uh, uh, Kezu's video, didn't we? <laughs> we watched Kezu's video of you. I was, I was fucking high off my head, in my head, right? And we were watching Tremolo Travel. And do you know the bit where it gets to like the tornado bit and it starts sounding like proper like panicky or whatever? <laughs> yeah, yeah. With I the, was just with the, there, uh, like TF2 <sighs> intro. Yeah, yeah, and I was just sat there like, oh god, like panic, and he's got a video of it. <laughs> and of course, but, I just um, fi- I just filmed it. <laughs> 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 and he's just, just I have like, to put it on my out or something, but it's just fucking funny ass. You're just spaced out, like, but then, and then that segment ended, and you just turned to look. <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain it. It was hilarious. I don't, I don't know why. Oh um, my god! But no. Nah. Um, sorry, did we make the video that was it that night or the night after? It was no, it was before we went out the night after. I remember I went in the bath and you did the um. Oh yeah, I did like the bass and stuff. Yeah, I should probably mention this to you, <laughs> Ross. Oh, everyone was looking. Danny, Danny's keyboard. <laughs> I he told he he did warn me about it before I went to his. Look, I, I'm not gonna be able to say this without laughing. <laughs> he's like, oh, something wrong with my keyboard. I'm like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> so he's, he doesn't have a space bar, so he's taken, I think, 
<laughs> is it like the um, the function key? <laughs> He's taken yeah. the function key and just put it <laughs> where the, the spacebar was. But what got me is that I forgot about it. So when I when I went into Danny's room, I look at the keyboard. I just burst out laughing. I'm like, <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got my so humble abode. It's so hard just making videos on it because like, I press spacebar to play the video and I'm like trying to press it and it's, it's just like a tiny key. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm, so I'm like pressing it with my finger because I can't quite reach it with my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how do you how do you deal with that a little tiny key as a space bar oh man i don't even i genuinely don't know like I've, i have enough money to get like a gaming keyboard i've just never thought about it but like it, <laughs> i'm just so used to it like if i try to make a video with a normal keyboard it'd probably take me a couple tries to get used to it now because i'm just so used to this fucking pressing my guy the looking thing just the middle of the space bar. You're gonna be perfect at pressing it on the keyboard. <laughs> oh god, that's fucking oh. hilarious. Yeah, I think I would react the exact same way if I just saw a tiny little key as the space bar. <laughs> That, that's that's interesting that you guys press uh space to like uh play stop because i i use like the i pretty much have to have a number pad on every keyboard that i have because i use the enter key to play oh. pause like on the numpad uh -huh. like uh i have, like I, I use my thumb uh for my mouse and then i and then i press uh enter on my wait numpad. you use your thumb for your left mouse button no, 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 no. Like, like, uh, on the numpad, right? I'll have my mouse over there, and then I'll move my thumb from my mouse to the enter key, and then I'll just press that. To oh, play right, okay. You must have really long thumbs, because I yeah, can't it is, reach it the is, enter key. It is <laughs> kind of long. <laughs> yeah, that's not com that I can't. I don't even have enough room. There's so many bottles of alcohol. Here. I've got from Jack Daniels here. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> okay, oh when you send the picture of your desk as well, that was. <laughs> No, can I just add, by the way, can I just add, real quick, I, I will get back on topic, but fuck me. So, we were just in a server room where I was just, like, sending pictures of, like, my desk and I had those bottles of alcohol, and, like, I opened up my weed drawer. <laughs> I've got my Beatles tin where I keep my gear and that, and then, <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a bottle of mustard. <laughs> a bottle just, of mustard? Just <laughs> It's no, but there's just like, there's the like, you just honestly oh. open it up and then just go, like, <laughs> everywhere. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, God, what have you found? It's like, oh, my God. Like, right, so I'm open the video drawer. You know, I've got all the game and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, but you never believe what else is in there. I'm like, what? Bottle of mustard. <laughs> just a full bottle of Coleman's and a couple of Weatherspoons vouchers that expired like six months ago. I'm just, I'm just a fucking class guy, mate. Fuck you, know. <laughs> What about the glasses on your desk? Oh, that's that. What about the bottles <laughs> on your desk? Billy, like eighteen now, oh, mate. Wasn't that eleven a month ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least I don't have bottles on top of my PC. Well, maybe you could. Maybe it'd run a bit faster. Uh, try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't there knock is... it till. You... Oh, I knocked it over. <laughs> there is one more story that I think Danny'd be interested in interested in telling. Yeah, go for it. Uh, is this the, um... This is after we made that video and then went out. I think you should you should kick off the first half of the night. So... And I'll, <laughs> in my own words, in my correct words, will recount oh, the latter half. Shut up. Right. <laughs> no, go on. So, of course, me and Danny uh, in the UK, we're at the legal age to drink. We can go out, we can have fun. And yeah. <laughs> we can, you know, go out clubbing and stuff. So... We decide to do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, we even recorded a source video. <laughs> we recorded <laughs> three. We recorded. We recorded one in the fucking bogs of the nightclub, going like, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> oh, like fucking like, pissed off our fucking heads. It's like you, you uh. pan to me, and I've got like this hat on, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, back to the story. I um, so we go out. We in oh god. Uh, there's so there's so many pieces to this story. It's so long. Oh but dear. We um we go out. We how many places we go to? Like it's like 
Going to cages. Um, there goes. Yeah, five. Yeah. Yeah. Mago, pop stones, guy. Children, six. Six, right. Six. Went six different places. Um, you know, we, we were we were hammering back drinks pretty hard. Cause I spent right. I spent about one hundred and forty pounds just on booze that night. That's crazy. Holy um, shit. Mental. No, this is usually what most of my money goes on. So at the moment with this corona, I'm quite a rich man. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> um, so you know, we get we're getting to near the end of the night. It's about four, coming on four in the morning. I think I can't remember. Uh, you um, no, you skipped the a massive chunk of the night, but I'll let you carry on. Remind me. Right. Which which bit? Not just the bit where we met. You know, our friend in the beer garden. I can't believe you'd skip over that. Right, I'll, oh, I'll tell this. I'll tell yeah, you can tell this bit. Right, so we were in the uh, beer garden having a fuck. Um, we were just, it was just us two. And um, fella comes in the beer garden, and he's just by himself. We've been seeing him throughout the night. He gets a drink at the bar and sits a different place every time he gets a drink. Oh, I only, I, I, only I noticed that, like, but yeah, like, I, mean, I, just, I thought it was a bit weird. Room. He was playing musical chairs by himself. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I thought it was a bit weird, but I was like, oh, whatever, you know, I'm not yet a judge. So, we, uh, we, he, he, the same guy came out in the beer garden, and he's like, oh, excuse me, lads, have you got a spare tab or anything? I said, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I gave him a spare tab. And he's like, oh, yeah, all right, my name's Steve. I was like, all right, Steve, yeah, how are you going? And we were just talking. And um, Billy hates talking to, like, drunk people. Oh, no. Or any people in a no, beer right. garden. No, I don't mind it. But I don't, like, I like to cut it short. I, literally, minutes before he came over, I was saying to Danny, oh, I was trying to avoid talking to, you know, people outside for a while because I just really can't be bothered with them. And they always talk about <laughs> random stuff. And Danny's like, oh, yeah, I don't mind to talk with some people. He comes over, he comes over, asks, asks Danny for a cigarette, gives him one. And uh, Danny, knowing full well that I do not like talking to people, goes, oh, so how's your night been then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm breaking and out the I'm, small talk like it's fucking no one's business. <laughs> and I'm, I'm stood there like, for fuck's sake, I just want to <laughs> go back in. <laughs> like, you had oh, to proper, God. like, you had to proper lie about your job or some shit like that. Yeah, I, so I, I lied about my job, I lied about how I met Danny, and I lied about where I live. <laughs> I know. Just, just to try and make it interesting for myself. <laughs> That's not even the meat and potatoes of the story. Jesus. No, that isn't. That's just a little. That's that's your garnish of the story, really. I'll let Billy that's crack like, on. That's like I'll let Billy recant start. his his no. idea of what happened, and then I'll tell you what actually okay. happened. So, Billy. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got to where I was explaining. It was around half three, four in the morning, you know. And Danny, Danny goes up to me and he goes, "Oh, I'm just gonna go wait outside. Uh, come meet me while you're, uh, when you you know when." With you finishing it, I'm like, oh yeah, I've got this one drink. I'll listen to this last song and I'll get out. So I'll do that. Um, and I I leave. Leave the club. Of course, I, I've never been to this town before. I've never been at all. So I don't know what anything's like. Um, so I leave. And everyone else is leaving because it's closing. And I can't see Danny anywhere. I'm looking around. I'm looking around and think, oh, I can't find him. Uh, he must, he must have left me or something. He must have. <laughs> he shuts up. He so I, I, I just, because I was with uh, some people that were, they were looking for him, and because they were they were looking for uh, my good looking friend. I was like, oh, he's outside waiting. I'll, I'll go get him. I'll go get him. And I'm like, oh, we can't can't see him anywhere. Oh, well, we'll just have to, you know, leave you be. I'm like, oh, all right then. So they go off in one direction, and I go off in another without Danny because I don't know where he is. <laughs> And instead, instead, because I've, I've, of course, I stayed at his house the night before, so you know, it's I, I genuinely uh, like know the general area of where he lives. Mm -hmm. Um, instead of walking the direction to his house, I, I, I kind of walk in the opposite way, <laughs> <laughs> and oh I end up walking for about an hour and a half around this town. <laughs> trying to find Danny's house, and <laughs> it was really early. Of course, I'm really drunk, and I'm thinking, God, I've got my phone on me, and you know, I'm not getting any messages from Danny. I'm thinking, Oh God, what's what's going on? And I'm thinking, No, I will find his house. 
I'll find out where he lives, and he'll be there. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I, I should probably mention, I walked for about four miles. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were and fucking mental. Danny, Danny lives, like, what, five, ten minutes away from the town? Literally, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I walked for an hour and a half. <laughs> and <laughs> the only way I managed to find out which house was his, I don't know if you've noticed in any of his sources that he's used, but he's uh, he doesn't have it anymore. But there's um there's a big Bart Simpson towel that he had as a curtain. <laughs> 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 so I uh, I, I think God, I'm at the right house. So I, I step back in the middle of the road. I look up and I see <laughs> Bart Simpson. I'm like, yeah, it's this like is the right house. it's like the the fucking three wise men looking for the star, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's exactly Bart what it Simpson was. Bart Simpson towel. So I, <laughs> I go up to the door. I forgot to mention that Danny also rung me. Our phones were on really like low battery. He starts ringing me. I was on one percent, and he starts ringing me. I see a bunch of messages. So <laughs> Danny was at home at this point, ringing me on Discord. Uh, Billy, where the fuck are you? This isn't funny. Where are you? I'm like, uh. And then my phone dies. And I'm thinking, <laughs> oh shit. Okay, no. So when I got to his, I knock on the door, and uh, his his brother answers, and I'm thinking. Uh, oh god. So he was like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, it's Danny in. He was like, no, he, he's still out looking for you. And I'm thinking, oh shit. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no. I'll charge me for him and, you know, I'll send him a message when my phone turns on. I, I complete. I just don't do that. What I do is <laughs> put my phone on charge. I just get into his bed and <laughs> just sleep. <laughs> Completely forgetting about him. And just he, sleep. I, I hear like movement downstairs and he just bursts into his room. Billy man, where the fuck were you? What the fuck are you doing? That wasn't funny. It really wasn't funny. I'm not laughing. And I'm just not laughing either. I'm just so drunk that an emotion cannot be put on my face. And I turn around, and I look at him and just go, uh, fall back to sleep for like a total of five minutes. And you, Danny, you're just like, oh my god, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> and, I, I, and I sit up and I go, oh, I feel sick. <laughs> And I'm, I, I can't remember, was I like just in my boxes or, or what? You, you didn't have underwear. an attack allowed, thank god. You were I was just in my underwear, and I'm like stumbling, I fall down Danny's stairs <laughs> <laughs> to go to the toilet oh. to throw up. <laughs> oh my <fucking laughs> god. And, and then I, you, you sicky up in the bug and you look at me and I shit oh, you not, you just go, now I've come back again. You look at me and you say that. And I don't I know it, why. I think it was because now I like brought it back again or something. I <laughs> now you know. fucking threw it when we rolled. And then I oh. threw it up again. <laughs> right, so that's that's Billy's version of the story. You know, we all oh, had a good and a gaff there. Now let's get down to what actually happened, right? Okay, so it's four. No, it's not. Yeah, it's four. It's half three or whatever in the club. And I'm kind of hitting like, I'm hitting that wall when you get too drunk and you're just like, I can't be fucked. I was like, right, Billy, I'm going to get some fresh air. I'm just going to sit outside on the curb, mate, because I don't feel too good at the moment. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, finish dancing. I'll probably listen to another song and that. But I'll come meet you out. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So this club closes at four. Um, I must have been on the curb for about ten minutes. I was just sat there, just, I don't know, I think I was crying. I don't know. But I'm, <laughs> Jesus. So I was just, I always do when I'm pissed. So I'm just sat there, and I'm just chilling. And everyone comes out, and I'm thinking, oh, God, it must have, fucking hell, Billy's, Billy's just coming out now. It's like four, it must be close. All right, then, cool. I'll just stand up and I'll wait for Billy. So everyone comes out. Billy doesn't come out. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, he must be on the toilet to lock the doors. <laughs> oh, no, 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 my friend's in there. My friend's in No, I can't be, mate. We've checked all the toilets. No, no one's there. No, can you check again? Because, like, he's n- well, mate, he's not there. Oh, all right, then. So I'm just stood outside this club, like, asking people, Oh, I've just lost my friend, and then this guy's like, "Oh, sorry, mate, I can't help you." Ah, oh, sorry. I was just like, "Can you not? Just, did you not see him? He was like, you know, tiny. He was wearing a Vans top. Um, <laughs> did you not see him? <laughs> no, mate. No, I can't help you, mate. Sorry. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I'm like, God, I'm fucked. Like, I, I, my friend's come over from a different town. He's never came here before, and I've lost him, and he is gone. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, for fuck's sake. So I run home. Cause like I need to charge my phone. I'm on one percent. I've 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 rang Billy on the on the two percent I had. That's what that's got it down to one. 
So I ring Billy. Of course he doesn't answer. Of course he doesn't. So I get home and I'm charging me phone. I'm thinking, fuck, man, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I ring him on Discord on my computer and he answers. I'm like, Billy, Billy, where are you? But cut. His fucking phone <laughs> dies. And I'm sat there like, for fuck's sake, see, what am I going to do now? What am I going to? So I get me, I get me, yeah, I get my shoes back on again and I go out. And I'm just in my street shouting, Billy! Billy, man, where are you at, man? <laughs> like, just round everywhere. And I'm so, like, I'm so full of emotion. I'm batting signs. And I'm like, Billy, man. I was like, no, I can't. No, man. I went all the way around town. I, I even saw people from the club there. The, the club had since closed for, like, an hour. It was about five in the morning at this point. There was just people there just doing drug deals. And I was like, oh, I don't want this, man. So I'm just coming all the way back. I'm thinking, right, I've got two options here. I can ring uh, the police or I can ring his lass. Now, <laughs> I don't have his lass's... I don't even have your lass's number. I have her on Instagram, but I was going to message her saying, oh, you know, I've lost your lad. Um, the fuck now, like... Um, <laughs> and then I, I've lost your boyfriend. Please help me. You know, I know I know you're all the way over, whatever, but you can't help me, but please help me. And then I was like, God, am I actually, like, make a call to the police? And I've never done that in my life. I'm thinking... I'm psyching myself. I'm thinking, right, I could, Hello, uh, 999, I'd just like to report a missing person. I'm like, yeah. So I get in, <laughs> and my brother's like, oh, yeah, you made tea, by the way. Well, Billy, yeah, he's upstairs. So I'm like, fucking right, slam the door, fucking run up them stairs. Fucking Billy's there in me bed. <laughs> I'm like, right, lad, right, that not, that's not fucking funny, that, Billy. That's not, God, I'm so glad you're here, mate, but that's not, fu- oh, man. And I'm just like, I just don't know what to do. I'm just overwrought with emotion. I'm just like, what's going on here? So it turns out, yeah, so it turns out Billy did walk four miles, but in the time it took Billy to walk four miles from the club to my house, weirdly enough, it also took me the time to go all the way to my house and back, and then all the way back again. So I don't know how the fuck I took that long. I don't know how the fuck Billy ran four miles in that fucking time. I didn't but he always likes to, walking. and he always likes to paint me out to be the bad one in that um, that story. But <laughs> he's so like the thing is. The, he cites the fact that he couldn't see me because I was sat, sat on the curb and he there was, was like a group. Curb. But you could have just went, Danny, do you buy? And I'm like, I, oh, don't yeah, yeah, wanna, yeah. I don't want to, because those people who I was with, <laughs> they have you left. Mean, you, and I don't want to look around and just start shouting your name. It just seems just sort of, You people. could have just went like, oh, he might be you know, behind these people. Oh, there he is. Any Danny could have <laughs> D- Danny Sparks could have been there. <laughs> don't mention him, mate. It wouldn't kill me. That's, that's no, um... <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, just you just you could have you could have shouted my name or you could have looked behind the crowd of people, but no, you just said, ah, well, I'll just I'll just I kind of know my way home, really. I don't really, but I'll just walk <laughs> home. And uh, that's the story of how I very nearly lost Billy forever. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a good night. Good. It was a very Wait. good night. Was that was that the first time that you guys have met up in person, or had you met up? Oh in no, no. God, no, oh okay, I, I wasn't <laughs> sure. First time we met up was in 2016. Christmas time, and then... It was Christmas time, yeah, because... I met Good Sig. I, you met Good Sig, yeah. Nothing and like then I, miss, Sig. I met... I met Fowley Films. Oh! Are we, are we saying it, Billy, are we not? Ah, yeah, we might as well just say. So, there's a video on Danny's channel. Could you spare me this dance? And the guy using it is someone I know. He's a friend of mine. And... Danny met this person without realizing that it was that person. <laughs> and it, it, yeah, it's yeah, it's really confusing. But oh, I yeah, yeah, I know this video. So yeah. the title stems from his, his second name. <laughs> yeah. So, so sorry if you're watching. By the way, Mister Spare, it's 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 not um not your <laughs> class. Spare. It's. That literally, I made this video just for Billy. Like, th- it wasn't meant to be uploaded, but he was just like, put up public now. And I was like, all right, then. Now here it has like nearly 10k views for some reason. And it's hey. just the fact that, that like it stemmed like the fad titles had like could you spare me? Just, oh, God. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the, ti- the titles for that video, like for the chocolate disco videos, stemmed from my friend's surname. And I, I, I find it really hard. <laughs> um. <laughs> Especially because those are videos from his old YouTube channel, and he, he hates it when people bring it up. I know. <laughs> there it is, nearly at 10k views. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope he's alright with this. Bless him. He's definitely seen it, because he knows about your channel. 
Yeah. But, but yeah, going back to what we're on about, Danny's met majority of my friends that <laughs> we've used in videos. Foully so, films, the lot. <laughs> oh yeah, Foully, Foully films. Um, so it was, I think it was, how many times would you say we, like, we've met up? Was it, um, about five, because you met up with our ex and you when we went there. Uh, Oh yeah, Experience. me and me and Tommy have met each other's exes. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a lovely time. But no, about five, and then six, including when you cut your online, probably. Yeah, so it's usually like a thing, do like every year. Awesome yeah, thing. pretty much. That's uh, cool. Because like I, I would just say, oh, come to Magfest, you know, meet everybody, meet up there. But uh, yeah. it's not very, not very uh, feasible for you guys to hop the pond over. Well, what, me and Billy had like a kind of an idea, like when the next Magfest was on. Like what we wanted to do was like, because we obviously like Magfest, like with the white V and V panel now, it's like a bigger thing. Um, so what we wanted to do was like kind of go over there, but to not tell anyone we were going over there <laughs> and just start to show up and just see how that went. You know what I mean? Like I would have, I don't know, like I just attended the white V and V con. And maybe just sat like a couple of rows from the front and just not told anyone we were coming, and then it would have been like a surprise. But like, I think we're just giving it away now, really. Now, haven't we? So, <laughs> yeah, we can't do that one now. Oh dear. Well, well I don't know if anyone would recognize me. <laughs> I, I'm sure, I'm sure, like a lot of people would recognize Danny. But and, oh, then, no. and then there'd be like, there'd be like, uh, oh, probably Billy. <laughs> yeah, who's this? This is Danny is six foot, but I'm really short as well, so it'll be some the six foot are you six foot Danny? Or like tall? Six foot bang on, uh, any ladies that are watching. No, six foot bang on, yeah. yeah. For any ladies that are watching. <laughs> God. Jesus. Uh but yeah. Uh, and Danny's six foot, so you know, he's quite I guess this is the problem with the night out of why I didn't see you because I'm <laughs> I'm five foot six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's quite not sure. That <laughs> it's not that much. <laughs> Even when I got off the train to come see you, and like, God, I don't remember you being this short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, like I remember we took a picture and I like I angled my arm up, so it was like made you look like Diddy. You angle your arm up, and I just look tiny in all the pictures. <laughs> and again, tiny I take boy. pictures from like down below, and you just look like a giant. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're just tall, and I'm like, huh. Oh. But I don't uh, know how tall like some white TV like white TV viewers are, so it'll, it'll be really weird just going and. <laughs> it it's 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 a really weird experience for sure. Like the the first year that I went was uh white or Magfest 2019. I almost said white TV 2019, Magfest <laughs> 2019, and uh like. I just kind of like showed up and like everybody was there and it's just so it's oh it's such a fucking weird thing to just see like jab chilling in a corner it's just like what the fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know it's it's but uh, something that's super surprising that I found is everybody's so much nicer than like you would expect like everybody's super welcoming which yeah. is which is really cool but was- if you guys were I'm uh, if you guys were to come to Magfest like honestly it's a fucking gas it is so much fun i love like magfest is like the best week weekend of my year for sure uh, well we have to think about the uh 2021 then billy eh? we'll have to fucking consider it or... save up danny go on magfest no i mean it's just uh, just swim over it won't take too long swim <laughs> over just yeah. swim over take a boat <laughs> get... oh, no no need. i got, got my armbands yeah right. <laughs> you can, you can swim <laughs> Get some floaties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> floaties. So, moving forward, like, what do you, what do you guys want to achieve with Y2PMV? Like, is there, do you have like a, uh, do you have any goals in mind, or is it just kind of go day by day, make videos that you have ideas for? Um, Danny, you could, you could start this one. <laughs> uh see, I've had like one video i wanted to make for a while um i realized in saying this this is just putting the, the idea out there for anyone else that wants to do this to do this i can't imagine i'll ever get this one done but i had an idea to do something uh it's a ytpmv it's going to be called ytpmvs of the apocalypse right penguins of the apocalypse fear of dark mm-hmm. um and what i wanted to do with that and i know people say like oh ripping off you yeah, but that's kind of the point of why i wanted 
So what I wanted to do was take about 10 of my favorite YTP MVs and for each segment in like the song, I wanted to, you like, it, 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 I'm going to describe it like an idiot basically, but I wanted to sort of like, like, I don't know if anyone saw my video on my own. It's called YTP MVs of the Apocalypse and the video and, and the samples used and the visuals look exactly like Julia's Melanade City video. Mm. Well, that's kind of what I was going for. So I would take my favorite YTP MVs. I would use the same samples and put the same visuals, but I almost set it out like a collab. So there's like different sections of it. Mm. And just to pay homage, like my favorite YTP MVs. So like the be an Outron section, I'd, I'd use the same samples and the same like visual for like a certain section of the song until the next one is like, let's say, for example, I don't know, Melanade City again with the same samples and the same visuals. J- just as a way to kind of pay homage to like my favorite YTP MVs, really. But uh, apart from that, not really. I just want to kind of keep making these because I-, I can't imagine I'll burn out anytime soon. Um, yeah. I just want to kind of kind of keep making these because it's fun to pass time and stuff like that. And it's 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 fun to like show what sort of music and like or what sort of like TV shows or sources or whatever that you like. Um, it's fun to just sort of put that out there and show people like oh, this is what I like, this is what I like to do and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. It's kind of neat in a way, and I can't see. Um, can't see myself stopping anytime soon. But uh, what about you, William? <laughs> <laughs> Your answers are a lot longer than what I was kind of think of. Um, honestly, I I don't really have an like an end game type. Like, I, I there's nothing that I want to strive to do. Yeah. Um, I like recently I've wanted to just slow down making videos because I've I, I, like people say it's burnout, but like I'll. Similar to what Jake did, he vanished for, well, I say he vanished, he just stopped making videos in, for two years, roughly. Yeah, and yeah. He, he's, he's come back now, I kind of want to do something like that, because I I just, I don't know, I, I've, at the moment, anyway, I feel like I'm not enjoying it as much as I used to. Like, it's so much, if I get an idea, I get an idea and I'll do it, I'll go along with it. So I still have a couple of main videos that have been in the works for... Uh, one's over nearly a year old, and then the other's two years old. Um, but I like I, I want to, you know, do them, and then just I don't know, just like smooth sailing along, not really doing much. So um, yeah, I I don't really have like a a set thing to do, like BMV wise. Like yeah, yeah. Um, I guess the only idea I've had recently for doing something that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I mentioned this to you, Danny, but like, um, like a white BNB quiz. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, I'm so on board. Why don't you explain that? Because I love that idea, mate. So we get white BNBs. Don't care if they don't, if like, if there's conflicts between them or if they don't like each other. It doesn't matter. We get them all in a. Let's say we get like five people on a team. You get them all in a Discord call, and then you just create separate channels, and um, for the teams. And then, the, say, that, that's like a quiz master. Say if I'm the quiz master, I've got all the questions. And uh, I'll just ask the questions. Like, and they're all YTPNV related, so I'll take, like, a screenshot from a YTPNV and it's like, which video is this from? Uh, for an extra point, who made the video? And stuff like that. Uh, uh... Send an, an audio clip and be like, does anyone know the sample? Do, uh, just stuff like that. That'd be, be that'd so be really cool. That that I'm, that sounds that sounds really cool, honestly. Yeah. Like I've wanted to do it, but I don't know this. how to do it. I love it, mate. I love just the idea of like just taking everyone, like it doesn't matter what conflict. Like mm-hmm. I'd I i do not know. I'd love that, mate. I think honestly, at this point, I don't even think that like uh, uh, most people who have conflicts or like old conflicts, they they would be resolved probably just from one conversation. Honestly, so I'm uh, I don't think it'd be a big uh, that big of an issue. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll go ahead and end the podcast here. So, uh, where can people find you on Twitter, or socials, or whatever? Plug your stuff here. So my Twitter is at y double n o s double t e k c l c o r c, and that's Crockett Sony backwards for some reason. Um, my <laughs> YouTube is well, I mean. I don't need to plug that. Over to you, William. Uh, the YouTube is well, you 
yet, you know, the YouTube. My Twitter is uncrumpled, but in the, the L is a capitalised I because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I also use Instagram and Snapchat uh, just for, you know, I do have other social media, so it's uncrumpled for them. Uh, just how you'd normally spell it if you actually do want to let me. I'll, I'll talk to anyone, really. Thank you for listening to this episode of the White's PMB Podcast. If you're listening on Spotify or Pocket Cast, uh, please go check out my YouTube channel where you can see the video version of the podcast. Uh, my YouTube is Soraz. Uh, you can just search it up. Uh, really, really go recommend you subscribe to uh, Blizzy Mez and Chem on YouTube. Uh, you could look up Blizzy Mez White PMV or Chem White PMV in the YouTube search bar and you should be able to find them. The audio for this episode of the White PMV podcast was edited by M Maker, so thank you to M Maker for editing this. It saved me a bunch of time while I was out traveling and everything, so big shout out to him. Anyway, thank you for listening. Have a good one.